Hello, operator? Give me the library. This Tim needs a job. Come on in. Hello? Hi, Tim. Uh, my assistant Peggy told me that you're interested in a job at the library. <laughs> yes, that's right. It's beautiful to meet you. Uh, I can tell just by looking at you that I'm going to love you. My name is Mark. Uh, all my friends call me Tipper. Uh, you're going to call me Mark for now. But I can tell just by looking at you. You're going to get to that Tipper stage soon. Uh, why the library, Tim? So my uh, daughter, Josh Starn, she, uh, she's not a real student. It was a good idea. She was at know, a public I'm school, lie. but uh, I'm I took her to a private school man, because but I, uh, at, I thought I she was a, a lot smarter than think, what they were getting. Hey, maybe I can read she was taking biology. She was only in seventh I grade. Bored, she shouldn't be taking that. That's too advanced for her. So you own this library? That's correct, Tim. I privately own this library. I bought it three years ago when I was nine. Oh, starting young, huh? <laughs> yes. Do you need to see my resume? Oh, absolutely not, Tim. Put that fucking thing away. Tim, did I ever teach you the story of the little cowboy that should? I don't. You gotta have a strong spirit to work here, Tim. My spirit is so strong. Well, that's great, Tim. Because the people in the confines of this structure were genetically engineered to work here. And you are going to have to work up to the standards of those alpha boys. Do you know Can you handle that? Yes, sir. Cool. You know, Tim? That's me. Every day, I go home and I sit, and I ponder about everything around me. I ponder about my workload, my fellow employees, and my lust for the child's mind. Oh, gross! Long story short, Tim, it's not gonna be easy chillin's working here at the Brary, Tim. Mark, I did not choose this job thinking it would be smooth sailing. I came here to challenge my mind, my body, and my spirit. Fuck yeah, Tim! So what are some of the things I'm going to be doing here as a library worker? <laughs> oh, my naive little Tim. You are going to be doing whatever it is that I ask of you. <laughs> whatever. It is that I ask of you. You hear about this guy, Kevin Spacey? The actor? I miss my son. Excuse me? Excuse you? Excuse you! You know what, Tim? I didn't fight at Water Park for years so that I would come home and deal with this kind of bullshit! Water Park? That's right, Tim. Water park. Before I owned this library, I had to work my way up the ladder, or slide, if you will, at a dangerously large aquatic amusement facility. And I am a workingman, Tim, and that is something that you are going to have to learn to honor and respect, you stupid, fat, bulky rapist. I will fuck you, Tim. I will fuck you. I'm starting to feel uncomfortable. Water park! Water park! Water park! That's what I fucking do! Tim, it's been a wonderful experience. 
Mark, I don't think I'm gonna work here. Get the fuck out! No! It's been five years since I interviewed Tim Williams. I've been following him ever since. <laughs> You see, Tim made me very angry when he decided not to work for me. <laughs> but now I have decided after these long, long, brutal five years that today is the day Tim pays for his mistake.